everybody. Welcome back to another video of Trek Talk here on the Vocek Experience, where idiots are still always us. Always me. Always. Guess you can see I am wearing a uh, coat in this video. Uh, I addressed this in another video I did earlier, but I'll address it again for this one in case you don't know. Um, where I film my videos, uh, it's in a house that uh, my wife and I are renovating and remodeling and everything and right now there is no heat uh in here because there's pretty much no walls and uh and it's a little cold in here because it's pretty cold outside so thought i'd dress for the occasion and be warm so anyway uh we are now on the ninth episode of star trek discovery's third season we find out in the beginning of this episode that the ship that is stranded in this nebula that is where they're saying the burn originated from is actually a stranded ship of Kelpians like Saru. Apparently for about 100 years their distress signal has been going out, uh, but nobody knew because it was all distorted and everything. But before they could go check out on this, uh, we go back to Giorgio, who's been having, like, blackout issues and everything, and, uh, it turns out that because she's from the Mirror Universe, and they came forward in time, her molecules and stuff are trying to get back to her own time and her own universe, so she's kind of, like, falling apart, uh, molecularly, I guess. And I also love that uh, they touch a little bit more on the temporal Cold War and stuff that was going on in Enterprise in this episode. So we know a little bit more about that and what happened after that. But as it turns out, in order to try to cure uh, Giorgio, because there's no real cure really on the Discovery at all, um, the sphere data that integrated itself with the ship's own computer and their system suggested that they go to this one planet where she could possibly get cured there. So they jump to this planet and uh, Michael and Giorgio beam down to the planet and uh, they follow uh, where they're supposed to follow according to uh, this data. And here they come across this guy sitting in a chair named Carl sitting right next to a door that looks like it goes nowhere and he basically tells Giorgio and Michael that in order for her to potentially get cured she has to go through this door and as they're speculating about doing this Carl holds up a newspaper that shows that Giorgio dies tomorrow well at least according to the newspaper anyway um, unless she goes through that door so, after a bit of back and forth, Giorgio decides, well, I might as well go. So, she opens the door and goes through and she pops back into the mirror universe. But it's back before she was brought into the prime universe by Michael. It's actually the day that Mirror Michael actually betrays Emperor, Emperor Giorgio. Jeez, I cannot talk today. Uh, so it's pretty much a little bit before the first season when they do, when Discovery ends up jumping to the Mirror Universe. So in this, we get to see a little bit more on what's going on in the Mirror Universe and how things are going. And uh, of course, it's always fun to see the, the Mirror Universe of the characters that we all know on Discovery. And one thing that I am excited to see is Tilly, or should I say Captain Killy, um, in here. I always thought that uh, she was good in the Mirror Universe. I don't know why, but I always thought she was good in the Mirror Universe. But now we see Giorgio in this universe where she's still the Emperor, but she's got a little bit of a different outlook than what she had uh, back in the first season when uh, Prime Michael took her out of the Mirror Universe and brought her to the Prime Universe. She's grown a little bit. She's not, she doesn't seem to be as ruthless. She's like, I don't know, kind of has more of a conscience than what she had before. So she's looking through all this with, you know, a little bit of a different perspective. And she acts a little bit different and it's noticed by some of her uh, people from over there. 
And of course, we get to find out why uh, the mirror Michael betrayed uh, Giorgio in the mirror universe. And of course, uh, because Georgia already knew what was going to happen, she beat Michael to the punch and uh, decided not to kill her like she did originally in the Mirror Universe when Mirror Michael betrayed her. I hope this is making some sense. So the episode pretty much ends with uh, Giorgio taking Mirror Michael and taking her to an agonizing booth. And, uh, of course, it's a two-part episode, so we got to wait to find out what's going to happen in the next episodes, which I am really excited to see. I'm excited to see if Giorgio is going to get cured. Is she going to come back to the Discovery in the future where she, you know, was? Is she going to somehow stay in the Mirror Universe? Is she going to go back in time to... Uh, the 23rd century, but in the Prime Universe, I'm excited to see what's going to happen there. I'm also excited to see what's going to happen when the Discovery finally meets up with this uh, Kelpian ship and this nebula and find out some more about the burn, because that's one thing I really want to know about. What caused the burn? Is there some way to reverse it? What's going to happen? But, of course, we still have a few more episodes in the season to find out that. <clears throat> and like I said earlier, it was cool to hear about the Temporal Cold War and everything again. It's a nice little throwback to Star Trek Enterprise. And let's talk a little bit about Carl and this doorway. I've been reading a lot of things on some of the Star Trek uh, fan sites on Facebook and everything. And uh, one of the ones that I kind of think and uh, agree with it... Uh, Carl might be a version of the Guardian of Forever from the original series episode, The City on the Edge of Forever. But he just kind of took on a different look for some reason. Um, I hope we find out um, about that. Um, so could Carl be a Guardian? Could that doorway be uh, kind of the same thing that uh, McCoy and Kirk and Spock went through in that episode when they went back in time to the 1930s? So hopefully and maybe we'll find that out uh, in the next episode. It would be really cool if, uh, if Carl does end up being a Guardian. But I guess we'll find out in the next episode. And... Uh, Speaking of that, I guess you'll have to find out in the next episode, too. So uh, we're going to end this here. Um, as always, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you get notified of future videos. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link for that is down below. And, of course, if you want to follow me on TikTok, the link for that is also down below. And... If you want to follow me on Twitter, that link is down below as well. So uh, with that, I got to go get warm because I am standing here freezing my tuchus off. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!